guys, I'm Stephanie and this is Steph's Day. And today we're making resurrection rolls and celebrating Easter Sunday, who's coming very quickly this weekend. So this is the day that we celebrate when Jesus rose from the grave. And to start this off, I'd like to read to you from the King James Bible. And this is Matthew 27, verses 57 through 61. If you have your Bible, feel free to follow along with me. Verse 20, 57 of chapter 27 says, When the eve was come, there came a rich man of Arimathea named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which had hewn out of the rock, and he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulchre and departed. And there was Mary Magdalene and the other Mary sitting over against the sepulchre. So today we're going to be making, like I said, resurrection rolls, where these will be a visual representation of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So join with me as we get this special recipe started. Here we go. This marshmallow here is pure and white and perfect in every way. This represents Jesus Christ, who was perfect, sinless, and died on the cross to save us from our sins. He was the perfect lamb that was sacrificed for our sin, so that whosoever should believe us in him and call on the name of Jesus shall be saved. When he died, his body was dipped in the oil, to prepare for burial. And the body was prepared with spices. And this spice is cinnamon and sugar. Two tablespoons of cinnamon, two tablespoons of sugar. The spices were used to anoint the body. These crescent rolls These crescent rolls represent the wrapping of Jesus' body. I'm going to unwrap all of these crescent rolls. I'm going to pull out the first one. These are in eight sections. So you'll have eight wrappings. I'm going to press them out slightly. And I'm going to take the body in the oil and with the burial spices. And I'm gonna wrap it in the linen cloth. We're gonna wrap it tightly, making sure it is completely sealed. Make sure no edges are exposed. After it is completely wrapped, we are going to place it in the dish. You can place this on a baking sheet or you can place this into a muffin cup. All right, I have all of the crescent rolls wrapped and I have six of them that I've placed in a um, muffin tin and I placed two of them on the edge so if you did not have a muffin tin that you could see how you could easily just place these on the edge. So after the body was wrapped, it was laid in the tomb. So we're gonna place it in the oven. It's at 350 degrees. And Jesus' body laid in the tomb one day, two days, three days. All right, our rolls have been baking for about 10 minutes. Oh, 
and then take them out. We do need to let these cool for a few minutes before we open them. After three days, the stone was rolled away and they opened and the tomb was empty. It was completely empty. The tomb was empty that day and it's still empty today. So remember, I'm Stephanie. This has been Steph's Day. Give us a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button for more great content like this. And remember, in Matthew chapter 28, verses 5 through 8, it declared, And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not, ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, as he said, Come and see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell the disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall you see him. Lo, have I told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulcher with fear and great joy and did run and bring to the disciples the word, the good news that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, has risen and he's risen indeed just like you promised in the scriptures. So remember, I'm Stephanie. This has been Steph's Day. This has been a very special video, and I pray that it um, lays on your heart very well as it has heavy on mine in filming it. And as we celebrate Easter Sunday, the greatest day in the world, if you do not have a church home or you don't have a church to visit, feel free to join me online. Um, my church is listed. I'll put a link in there and so you can join us as well. Or if you do have a church, make sure you're attending a Bible-believing church as we celebrate our risen Savior. Praise God. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. And remember, Sunday's coming.